Thank you, Speaker, Madam, for giving me this opportunity to speak on the budget, railway budget. I rise to support the railway budget presented by Sri Suresh Prabhu, Honorable Railway Minister. Madam, yes. this railway budget is a path-breaking budget. Normally, when the budget comes, people look at the budget of the figures of income and expenditure. But this budget not only contains the figures of income and the expenditure, this budget provides a vision how the railways are going to be developed in future. Keeping in view of the use of the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, Railway Minister has prepared a visionary railway budget. When the budget is presented in the House by the Honorable Railway Minister, many Honorable Members are looking at this speech. When the Minister is going to announce the new trains so that they can cheer and applause, and some members are waiting to register their protest if the trains are not being introduced in, their, in those areas. Honorable Railway Minister has not given the chance to either of them, either to cheer or either to protest. He has uh, followed a different path in the railway budget of not announcing the new railway, new trains, and also he did not announce many of the new projects. He has delinked de the announcement of new trains from the budget. And he has given the preference to complete the ongoing projects, which are not completed for so many years, and also the existing projects to complete in a time frame. Madam Speaker, Honorable Railway Minister has offered many things for common man in the railway budget. The number one is being the not increasing the fares by augmenting general coaches, by increasing the number of seats for common men, ease of ticketing, increase in train speeds and mobile charging facilities and also for the senior citizens and women they are offered the facilities at the time of booking the railway budget also gives emphasis on cleanliness it also gives emphasis on safety in 2015-16 Sanction of 238 ROBs and 732 RUBs, and also elimination of 3,438 level crossings with the investment of 1,646 crores. The Honorable Minister has given more emphasis for safety, Madam. And also, Honorable Minister has taken a new route of developing the infrastructure by attracting the investment under PPP mode. I am very happy to note today the Ministry of Railways and also the Life Insurance Corporation of India have signed an agreement of letter of credit to the extent of 1,50,000 crores to be invested in Indian Railways. I really appreciate the effort of the Railway Ministry to have this relationship between LIC and the railways so that investments can be attracted for railway development. Sir, I come to the issues of the state of Andhra Pradesh. As you are all aware, Andhra Pradesh was divided into two states, sir. When the division took place in the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014, it was assured to the people of new 
railway zone for Andhra Pradesh. Sir, there was an hesitation in Andhra Pradesh for the last 10 years, particularly at Visakhapatnam, demanding the establishment of a new railway zone in Andhra Pradesh with Visakhapatnam as headquarters. This issue has become a very sentimental and also emotional issue for the people of Andhra Pradesh in general and Visakhapatnam in particular. Keeping in view of the sentiments of the people of Andhra Pradesh, when the State Reorganization Act was, bill was passed in Parliament in Lok Sabha, in that bill an assurance is there that the proposal for establishment of new railway zone in Andhra Pradesh to be considered. I request the Honorable Railway Minister to consider the request of separate railway zone for Andhra Pradesh and also the headquarters to be at Visakhapatnam. I very much thank you, sir, for actively considering this proposal. Sir, Visakhapatnam is a beautiful city. From which city I represent? Nowadays, there is a black spot on the beauty of Visakhapatnam because of the pollution from the activities arising in and around Visakhapatnam city. We have a major port in Visakhapatnam city. Visakhapatnam port handles iron ore and also coal dust, sir. Lot of coal is being imported into the country now. The problem is, sir, the coal imported is unloaded at Visakhapatnam port and being stored in heaps. Whenever there is a wind, the dust is being spread in all over the city and it is causing the dust pollution in Visakhapatnam city. Why I am mentioning about this pollution issue when in the railway budget? Because the railways can help Visakhapatnam city to go out of pollution. If railway ministry allots more rates for evacuation of this dusty cargo from Visakhapatnam port trust, I think the Visakhapatnam city will be saved of pollution, sir. I request you to kindly allot more number of rakes to, to Walter control. Division for evacuation of the dusty cargo. Sir, we, I have a request for new trains, sir. Visakhapatnam is a tourist hub. We have Araku and Burrakaves. There is a need to introduce one new train, tourist train, between Visakhapatnam and Araku with Vistadam coaches, see-through see coaches glass coaches so that they can enjoy, tourists can enjoy the tunnels and valleys while traveling to Araku, sir. Please conclude. There is also demand for uh, Varanasi, Visakhapatnam to Varanasi. The other request I have, sir, in the last budget there is a new train announced from Vijayawada by name AP Express, originating from Vijayawada. I request the railway minister, honorable minister, to see that this AP Express runs through Visakhapatnam so that about five coastal districts will be covered with that uh, train, sir. I request you to consider the rerouting of this train. I thank Ramachandra Honorable Paswan. Railway Minister for allotting about Ramachandra 695 Paswan. crores for Walter Division for expansion of diesel locomotive workshop and also electric locomotive workshop, sir. I thank the Honorable Railway Minister for giving these funds. Lastly, requesting the Honorable Railway Minister to expedite the formation of the new Honorable railway Paswanji. zone for Andhra Pradesh with Visayapatnam headquarters, sir. Thank you very much.